How much does this bike cost? <laughs> That's not the first question. That shouldn't <laughs> be the, the first, first question. question. Hi guys, Hilton here, Revolution Bikes. Um, and I'm in my shop now, I'm just doing some videos. We're doing some new videos on some of our premium bikes for 2018. These are all mountain bikes. We pretty much do off-road bikes in the shop. It's all about fun, having fun, off-road uh, leisure bikes. We're not a, like a hardcore race road bike shop. None of us wear Lycra and shave our legs. Um, this is my uncle Bruce, he just popped in and he just wanted to ask a few questions about, oh, e-bikes in general, I suppose, eh? So yeah, what's the question? Um, how much do they cost? So they do cost money. Um, <laughs> um, we, go, we do have a whole range. Um, the better ones are gonna be close to 10 grand. Um, that's just how it is. The, the good mountain bikes are close to 10 grand. So the e-bike's gonna be pretty similar. Yeah, for a good one. But we can probably fit you on one for three grand. Very good. If that fits your pension. Does that fit your pension? No, I'll have to ask you, Cinda, for a raise. <laughs> you just got one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so check it out. It's a nice long video, but it's worth watching. Hi guys, Hilton here, Revolution Bikes, Havelock North, Hawke's Bay, in New Zealand. It's 2018. Um, I wanted to show you some of the 18 uh, mountain bikes we had, um, mostly full sus, mostly premium. We do a full range of bikes. We start right down real low and affordable and we go up to the nicer ones. These are some of the nicer ones, starting with this Mondraker E Crafty XR. They do a couple of models. They do an R and an XR. XR is better. Uh, this is it. So one color only, red, three sizes. Um, some cool features on these. These are Bosch bikes. Bosch being probably the world leader in the e-bike motors and the batteries. This is one of the new ones for this year. So we have an in-tube battery, which is new. Um, a few other brands are doing it, but this is it in here. So it's a bit um, more subtle and smaller. Um, you can still take it out and charge it, or you can plug it in, charge it on the, on the, uh, on the bike. So as it's a Mondraker, it's really a mountain bike, and it's really a mountain bike for mountain bikers. Mondraker don't make road bikes. They don't make commuter bikes. They don't make anything but proper full quality Spanish mountain bikes. Everything on you would expect from a mountain bike, minions, you know, proper gears, proper brakes, proper suspension. This is all Fox, Fox 36 up front. Um, you know, really good DT Swiss wheels, all that sort of stuff that you'd expect on a proper mountain bike for a guy who wants to get out in the bush and ride. You know, proper seat posts, all the normal stuff you'd expect. This bike has it, except for the pedals. We can sort that out in store. Um, some of the main rundowns, yes, it's a Bosch motor. It's the standard CX line, performance line one, which is their high torque motor. Um, and the controls right here on the side now. So instead of the big screen in the middle like we used to have on the commuter bikes, they've gone to a nice little small one. It's just less likely to get broken and knocked around and stuff like that. Um, so it's a plus bike. You'll notice if you're having a look around, most mountain bikes now are 2.6, 2.8 inch tires. That's what this has. Just gives you more grip for the weight of the bike and gives you more control when you're coming down as well. So you've got traction for climbing and control coming down. Um, massive brake rotors on these bikes, so big downhill type brakes, big downhill type rotors. You, um, I mean the motor's not giving you any speed downhill but you're going faster. So the key thing, all the guys that come back to us with feedback tell us they ride more often, they ride much further, um, they just feel young again and uh, having more fun. Imagine having the same downhill but doing it three times instead of once. It's just, it just blows you, out, blows you out of the water. Hi guys, bike number two, another Mondraker, another premium bike. This one, next level above the Crafty, this is called a Crusher. They do a couple of E-Crushers. Uh, again, this one's now Shimano and full carbon. All right guys, this one's also gone to rock shocks, forks and, and the rear shock as well. So it's just about doing, giving you options, Shimano motor, Shimano parts. Um, Shimano gears, all that sort of stuff. Still got the same sort of tyres, the big plus size wheels um, for the traction and the grip and the fun. Um, but you just, you've got a choice. So a couple of colours too, you've got this, this nice carbon and red. There's a yeah, carbon and blue if you, if you want to go up to the next level. And that's full XTR. Um, so again, Spanish mountain bike company who now make e-bikes. So they make really good mountain bikes with motors stuck on them, basically. They've done it from, from the ground up. These are all brand new designs. This came out this year, blowing people away. Um, we've got the in-tube uh, battery again. So it's, uh, it's tucked in from underneath. You can take it out, but most people just charge it in sight. Um, these bikes, I don't know, they're so much fun. You've just got to have so much fun. So same reasons as all the other e-bikes, more, more times uphill, less work, more Ks, um, and 
you just have fun climbing these days. You're going 15 k's an hour, you're railing the corners, you're riding over the bumps, you're climbing over the roots. You've just got this really, really cool bike with heaps of grip and, um, and really good power that doesn't feel heavy. So it's great. Um, what else? So, you know, standard modern bike, we've got boost wheels. Um, yeah, again, this is downhill brakes. Really cool. So look it up for yourself, our website. We've got loads of bikes on there, um, good pricing, and you probably find some links to the manufacturer's sites and you can do a bit more research yourself. Right guys, bike number three, we're switching brands now. Another one of our premium e-bike brands is Mustache. So a few years ago, Mustache switched, they only make e-bikes. They make some of the best e-bikes in the world. They're constantly winning awards. They're really innovative, but they think logically as well. A couple of the features on this one. Now this is, a, again, this is getting near the top of theirs. They do some carbon bikes. This one's still alloy. This is the Trail 4. So um, they're not affordable, but getting up there, nice bike. You know, again, decent suspension, decent rear shocks, decent gears. This time sure Shimano. And we're still running those big tires, those 2.6s, 2.8s, plenty of grip. Um, but it's a complete bike, you know, we've got the, uh, the thumb here, you push the button, the seat comes up, push it again, the seat goes down, you know, just constantly doing that, you know, we're not using front gears like we used to, we're using the seat to be in the right position all the time, so when we're climbing, we've got the seat up, and when it gets a bit rough and we're heading down, that seat's just gone out of the way, and we've got control of the bike, you know? Yeah. Um, again, they've moved out to the controls out the side here, just a smaller screen, you still got the same information, you just have to scroll through it a little bit, and it's really cool, but it's just easier to touch that plus and the minus is just at your fingers. All of these new bikes are coming with this e-bike mode that you'll hear about, so you've got your off, your eco, your tour, your sport, and your turbo. They've switched out sport and put an e-bike. What it does is it lets the brain and the computer work out how much power you need as you're climbing the hills. So if you're running that setting, you'll get more distance, you'll get more, more range, and it won't be so jerky on the, uh, around the corners on your climbs. Um, one of the things that Mustache did was they moved the battery into the frame, but they didn't buy a new battery. They kept the same battery. So in this bike, we've still got the standard Power Pack 500 that you used to get on bikes for the last five or six years. Going forward, it's still going to be a carry forward battery. So the idea was you can borrow your mate's battery, you can call into a cafe and use their charger, all the stuff. You can use your old batteries, you can steal the one off your wife's bike, and you've got spare batteries. If you went to an in-tube one, a little bit harder to get hold of, harder to replace. Still good and they've covered it up really nicely, look at that, fully covered. Again, take it out to charge it, or plug it in to charge it, oh, it's your choice. Um, what have we got? This one's, you know, stain, still got Performance CX motors. I think all the, across the board, the best motor, the quietest, the most torque, the most common, probably, in, in, the, in the developed countries anyway. So you're always gonna get parts for it and be able to service it, any shop can do it. Hi guys, back again, another bike, another moustache. Samity off six this time. Oh, I thought I'd show you a hardtail. Uh, so most guys are buying the, the full sus, uh, the mountain bikes. But sometimes you don't need that, 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 that full Monty and you just want something that's a little bit lighter. The hardtail gives you that bit of advantage. Um, this is again, a nice one from, from a nice, it's a French company this time. Uh, heaps of heritage, been doing e-bikes for a very long time. They really stick with the Bosch. You can't see it, it's another CX performance. Right, yeah. So it's another really high torque, really good off-road motor. These things, all of these motors are all well sealed. Right. You can ride these through creeks and puddles and splashes. It's fine. All right, guys, so don't freak out about it. you're gonna get a zap when you ride through a puddle. It's not gonna happen. Um, you can submerse these, but you gotta have it off when you do it. So if you're riding through a deep river, turn it off. But that's okay. Um, this one's got the old screen on it, so, or the other optional screen, which is a bigger one. So if you like having the big numbers and really clear, this is the way to go. These are interchangeable. Talk to us about different things you want to mod. Um, we're a real bike shop. We've been going since uh, 96, um, we're under this name. And we, we do all sorts of modifications to bikes. We do all sorts of custom jobs with people. This thing, if you want to, we can have a dropper post on there. It's all ready, it's pre-wired, ready to go. You'll have a button, seat so will go up and down. If you want to change that little skinny one to a nice comfy one, We've got them in stock, all right? Um, this is a really cool hardtail, again, plus size tires. It's, it is made to go off-road, like if you're doing the timber trail or you're doing all these cycle network trails around the country and you want something that's not gonna hold you back and stop you from going places, this is an option. Guys, another bike for you. Switching courses a little bit. We're sticking with the same brand. We've got a mustache here. 
This is the X Road Open 3, open because it's a low step. They do a stand, standard frame as well. Guys, this is, this is a rail trail bike. This is French, but this had so much Kiwi input to change it, to make it fit our, our rail trails and our off-road trails. Um, it's really, really cool. So this is, sometimes we call it the wife's bike. Sometimes it's just heaps of guys buy them as well. This is a really useful bike. You've got mountain bike wheels, brakes, and gears on essentially a city frame, um, but made to take it, you know. This is strong, this has got the accessories, this has got good quality mud guards, good carrier, you've got lights this time, um, but you've got the grip, you know. Not, not quite as big, but you've got a good two inch tire there. This will do all your traditional mountain bike tracks, but in the comfort of a city bike. Um, you've got a suspension seat post this time, takes out any of the rough stuff, the forks on this. They're pretty good quality forks, you know. So this thing's, if you're doing the Otago Rail Trail or the Alps to Ocean, this makes it so much easier. They've done the same battery as they have with the other bikes, tucked into the frame, hidden out of the way, interchangeable, easily to recharge, all those sort of cool features. This time we've got the performance line, Bosch, it's not the CX one, it doesn't have to have as, quite as much torque as the, the full on mountain bike one, so it's a little bit more efficient, it'll give you more Ks, I think this will do up to 130 Ks range on those lower settings guys, so this is a great bike for multi day trips, and um, you can almost do them on one charge. So, come and see us, so we're open 7 days, if you can't come and see us, ring us, we're here 7 days a week, we answer the phone, we'll have a good chat to you, we can sit down and we can find you the right bike, very important, get the right bike first. Thanks guys. Thank you.